Hello, I'm Ines from Floridcinematics.com and in the previous tutorial we have seen on how to fade in and fade out our video. But we have not seen how to in, um, fade in and fade out our audio and that's kind of important if you want to do that as well. So um, my way of doing it, because you have a lot of other ways to do it, I uh, can go to audio effects and go all the uh, audio transitions, of course, audio transitions, crossfade and constant gain, you can do that and st on the start and then also it will fade in. As you can see over here, it fades in and you can make it longer. But there are two ways of doing it uh, or maybe even more than that. And I want to show you a, some different ways of doing that for the audio and video. So um, this is one of the ways that I also like to do. But if you see this arrow and you click on the arrow for more information, you click on the audio, you can see over here to add or remove a keyframe. And you can do that in the effects controls or you can do it on your audio uh, in the timeline immediately. And I like to do that in the timeline immediately. So for, for now I will clear the effects on the audio and I will do it uh, manually by clicking on the audio, creating a new keyframe, going to the start of my timeline and create a new keyframe. And then you see this keyframe right over here. If you zoom in, you can see, um, it's kind of hard to see on this video, but you can see on my mouse, if I hover it, you see my mouse with a keyframe next to it. And now if you drag and drag, drag this down, to uh, negative uh, infinity, then it will be zero and then it will be also fading out. So now if I play this back, my audio also fades in between those two keyframes. And that's also a nice way to work. And the exact same works for the opacity and for the fade in of your video. So if you right click over here and clear this down, go to two seconds, and there we go two seconds, click on your video footage, create a new keyframe, go to the start of your timeline, create a new keyframe, and you hover on that keyframe and you drag it down, it will also fade in your video. And you don't have to use any video transitions. Those are two ways that I'm just swapping a lot uh, through. Sometimes this is an easier way to work, sometimes the video transitions or the audio transitions are an easier way to work. It's completely up to you, it's your own preferences. Um, but if you go to the video and click on the video, um, well, that's for the next tutorial. Okay, I'm sorry. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it and thanks for watching. Goodbye.